Time your churros! It's time to make a cocktail. I've got Ian Andrews with me. I'm Derek Schomer. This is like a take on White Russian. Only it's a no. Halloween type of White Russian. Yes. Oh, is this Halloween? It's Thursday. Why is this Thursday? I thought Thursday was Halloween. Oh, whatever. It's this is Thursday. not a Halloween cocktail. This is just a cocktail yeah. around the autumn. Tomorrow is Halloween. Yeah, I don't remember what I have for a cocktail today. We'll find uh, out. One ounce of Kahl uh, Kahlua. I know what you got. It's over there. It's got eggnog in it. Oh, sweet. Stay tuned oh, tomorrow. Oh, yes. That's true. Uh, two ounces of vodka, an ounce of heavy cream. I'm going to use non-heavy cream because I don't have any heavy cream. Half half, yeah. yeah. And it's basically, it's, it's it's called the Autumn Russian. It's Think of a white Russian for the autumn. pumpkin. Right. That's pumpkin Kahlua. Pumpkin spice. Um, I don't... Ice, ice, me. Oh, you want ice? Yeah. I'm not picky, I just want ice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, ice. Why am I being so stupid? Oh, it's we're a few drinks brain. in at this point, That's and you're work. drunk. Yes, I am, <laughs> I am stone cold drunk here. Uh, what was I looking for? I have no idea what you're looking for. Uh, somebody wanted me to use a knuckle trigger. Oh, really? So, I just want to sample. So what do you think of this stuff? It's good. That's good. Because you use the half ounce of the knuckle. That stuff is awesome. I'm surprised we still have it. <laughs> Me too. Well, if I put it upstairs, we can Because if it's anything coffee. like Tippy Cow Orange, That's it would right, be gone. It would be gone. <laughs> that might migrate over to my hard <laughs> editing station. <laughs> I'll throw it over there when I'm done. Um, syrupy, coffee like. Syrupy. But the, it's heavy in the cinnamon and pumpkin. That's what spice. it is. It's yeah. cinnamon. It's a, uh, uh, oddly enough, there's another clue of cinnamon. Cinnamon clue. Is right? there cinnamon clue? No. That's yeah, over there. I have vanilla. I have, I have way too many clue brands. That's why they're all there. I don't know what else yeah. to do with them. No, I have peppermint. No, you have something that's cinnamon over there. That's I right don't there. have cinnamon. That's not cinnamon. God, he's going to go find me. Oh, you know what? I bet you I do have cinnamon. I think it's you know, an orange. No, the search on Drink Up New York kind of blows. We'll bring it over so we can see what the difference is. Yeah. It's oh, an orange whistling bottle. Whistling Dixie. Cinnamon yeah. spice. That's probably hot, right? Yeah, probably. Because this has, like you said, it has cinnamon flavor to it, right? I also have pumpkin. Coffee. This has more coffee to it, a little thinner. And this has a lot of coffee to it. Um, that tastes really good, actually. I don't think a lot of cinnamon in there. This one I get I a lot, a lot more cinnamon. That one I have a lot more coffee. Well, I wonder what we get out of this. Oh, okay, let's try that. Oh, I'm gonna put my mouth on this. Mm -hmm. Put your mouth on it. <laughs> oh, it's heavy vodka. <laughs> a little hot. <laughs> You're just trying to get a screenshot, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'll get there. I'll get there. Ready? Um, oh, it's really mm. like, oh my god! There's like a lot of vodka in I there. I don't know what the official recipe for a white Russian is. Hot. I always, I always do about one, that. One, one to one vodka to Kahlua. That's pretty close to what we have. Actually, no, no right. it's two to one mm. vodka to Kahlua. That's that's, that's, that's why funny. it's really hot. But this is made in Iceland, so it's gonna be good. This is, you know what? Every time I see I see Reka now, I always think not of, saying it's bad. It, no, 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 it's good. It's it's fine. I mean, we didn't have we, this isn't ranked badly. Potent. Yeah, um, the Reka is it, it's a small batch of vodka from Iceland, but mm. Reka's good. Yes, Reykjavik is the I think the capital of Iceland. And every time I watch Reka. Craig Ferguson, he, he always inter every time he interviews everybody, he goes, "If you, I'll I'll get you a, a dinner at whatever their their restaurant is from on CBS. They'll send him yeah. to dinner." If they get answered a quiz question, he always says, Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland, so who was the Queen of England in 1941? <laughs> it's completely <laughs> random. Like what he always starts everything with Reykjavik was the capital of Iceland. So you think he's going down that route and then he just flips That's the question. Awesome. And and I always think of Reyka because it's uh, same Reyka, thing. Yeah. and it says Iceland on the back, it's Reyka. Mm. Yeah, it's close to it. There's uh, a tie in there, definitely. There is. I, I get it. There's too much Reyka in this drink. <laughs> like that's it's if you love mm. the taste of vodka. And people who like white Russians do. They tend to, they I think, tend to, also yeah. have cirrhosis of the liver. Work but, on it. Yeah. <laughs> it takes time, though. I, so you're a big Stick white Russian fan. This I, is, I like white Russians, but I like them a little more Kahlua heavy than this. Yeah. I think here's here's the two issues. Because we use the, the lighter cream, the two ounces of vodka, I think, is 
not the sweet from the cream isn't high enough yeah. and rich enough to counteract the fact that the you're fat. putting two ounces. Because yeah. the heavy cream, you're getting more fat, right? Right, and yeah. we have a thinner cream, and that vodka balance is the same. So in this case, yeah. the one to one probably makes more sense. But, I usually use yeah. milk. The vodka is thinner. Uh, the 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 cream, the half and half is thinner than the heavy cream. Right. And the vodka is going to thin it out on top of that. So when you have the heavy cream, the vodka is going to thin it out less because it's heavier to start oh, with. In it's theory, a balancing act. You have to sink the bottom, and you're going to drink it last. Mm. Uh, I mean, you could make what I guess we call the gay Russian, which is with your silk stuff, right? Yeah, I just, just because <laughs> I tend not to drink like milk. Products. So you don't drink milk on purpose? Yeah. Is there like some sort of religion? I thing? think I'm you lactose like intolerant because oh, it, it bugs me sometimes. Oh, then there's a great reason not to drink it at that. But you're drinking milk right now. Plus, you just yeah, worry about it later. I'll blow it out it. later. I'll deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> the thinking, sacrifices I make for the show. Yeah. I'm thinking of something that's in a box. You have to tell me what is in the box. Craig <laughs> <Yes>. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Something's in the box. I'll tell you what's in this box. A really potent drink. So mm. you're not a big yeah. fan of the of the milk because of the, the digestional issues. That yeah. You Fair enough. But I like it. I love a good white Russian with some Would heavy you cream. Just drink right. that... Uh... This I'm is like I one. said. We I'll have a lot of cream-based <laughs> cocktails for this recording. Not necessarily this week. Just this recording. Because hmm. the other one... Oh, no. That's this week, too. That's this week, too. Um, so... I, I would say if you're not using heavy cream, cut down the vodka, keep it a one-to-one -one ratio because I think the star of this really should, should be the pumpkin spice. It should be because there's some, you know what, there's some Just good flavor some, in here. Just add some, give me another, give me, give me like an ounce, well, we already drank kind of half an ounce, so then, you know, it's good. The great thing about a white Russian is you can really tailor it to how you like it. Whether you like it vodka heavy or you like it cool heavy, all you got to do is add a little bit more once you, of, of whatever you don't have in there. I could smell it already tastes better. Yeah. Um, smell it already tastes better. You could smell the pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Uh, it's Absolutely. got more pumpkin to it. It's still vodka heavy. Now, don't is. get me wrong. There's still a, a pretty intensive vodka flavor to it, but the pumpkin <laughs> has a better profile. Fall I, I would say <laughs> totally adjust this to, to, because I think for autumn, you should highlight the autumn Russian. I agree. Autumn comes first, Russian comes second in this. Or Icelandic. Same thing with the White Russian. Yeah, yeah the Autumn good. Icelandic. I like that. It's good. Pumpkin Kahlua. Yeah, pumpkin but it gives really you a, a good use for pumpkin Kahlua because I haven't found there. a lot of mm. use. Gen General find use for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just sip that straight. It, yeah. I'll put it in it's coffee. It's just a good flavor. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a coffee additive. You have Not to a like lot pumpkin. of cocktails. You I don't like think pumpkin, it. that's good flavor. I don't know if they even give you it. Oh, yeah, the drinks over there. I never gave it back to you. It's okay. I was just going to highlight the glass because you can probably get the glass at awesomedrinks.com. The classic highball. Classic highball. You can get the glass, you can get the stirring spoon. This is a good stirring spoon. It's got the solid one piece construction. I see that using a lot too. A little red thing in the back. Professional bar It's got good uh, good balance to it. it. It's like a it's like a really good if he knew how to balance something. Yeah. It, it's like a it's like a rifled awesome weapon of of cocktail doom. Yeah. What um, you anyway, so you question of the day. We have one. Carafes. There's all sorts of stuff. You get awesome drinks. Um, question of the day. What what is your take on cream in a cocktail? What's your even Irish cream. holiday flavor profile. Mm. Do you like Christmas flavors? Do you like Halloween yeah. flavors? Do you like Easter flavors? And what do you I consider a Halloween flavor? Halloween flavor? Pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. Christmas yeah. is going to be like uh, cinnamon, cinnamon yeah. peppermint. and like allspice peppermint. and mint. Yeah, and peppermint. Yeah. Easter is going to be like ham and honey <laughs> and pineapples. And How many ham based that? cocktails have you had? We yeah. had the uh, one with the bacon. Bacon cocktail. Bloody Mary? No, 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 no. Bacon vodka and cheese. She just said no like 17 times. The Hawaii one. Hawaii one. The Luau. Can't roast the. Luau? Oh, the. the the Luau. What did you say? Luau? Hawaiian Luau. It was called Hawaiian Luau. Thank you. The Hawaiian Luau is a great drink. I don't know what that has to do with any holidays. Oh, but it tastes like ham. Yeah, okay. It's got the ham thing. You are going back to the comment you said. Bacon vodka tastes like ham when you mix it with the right ingredients. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, that makes more Same sense. Same animal. <laughs> right. There you go. Same animal. There you go. Uh, don't forget Fan Appreciation Month. You fan can, Appreciation Month. Yeah. yeah. You can send me... You know what? For this episode, this is what I'm going to tell you. This is your mission. Open your email client. I don't care what it is. And you're going to send off an email to dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com. And it's going to be like, this is why I found you guys. You guys are cool or you suck, whatever. Preferably the cool guy. My name uh, is so-and-so. I met, so I met you I, here. I live here. I would love to like do this. And this is my hobby. Mm. I found you guys by watching this episode. And I've been hooked ever since. You changed my life. <laughs> I got five jobs because of you. And I, I wow. have emails. Yeah, Not yeah. the five jobs. Not the millionaire five. thing, but. The rest of it all. Yeah, kind of well, the millionaire would be kind of upset because we haven't achieved that status. So if you right. have, because if you of us, and we became <laughs> a millionaire by watching our show, 
I did so. something wrong. That's yeah. not really very common, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In which case, you should share some of that money with me because I assisted you in your success. Yeah, do that. That sounds fair. Yeah, sure. And if you if I'm you sure. have a million dollars, you go to everydaydrinkers.com. Like Tevya says, says, if they will agree, then I will agree. All right. I'm always talking about to buy that stuff. From Fiddler on the Roof. I remember that movie. Is yeah. that a movie? It's a great movie. I thought it was like... It's a musical, but it's a yeah. great musical, yeah. You watch musicals? I've watched Fiddler on the Roof, Sweeney Todd. I've seen some other ones, but those are my two favorites. Now, now yeah, I understand why everybody says, are these guys gay? Because <laughs> you're, the, you're, the, you're the girl. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof is a manly musical, and Sweeney Todd's about murdering A manly people. musical! It's about you're... murdering people. Oh, oh, Sweeney so Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street... It's that? awesome. Is there more men in the in the theater when you go? Doctor Horrible. Uh, uh, Horrible Dr. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah, that's a musical. It's only forty five minutes. It's a quick watch. Everybody can even see it online for free. Is that guy gay? Yes. Oh yeah. I'm just saying. No, Patrick Harris. Is <laughs> he's in, awesome. In real life, he's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's amazing. He actually did a margarita Instagram thing. Did you see this? I, I, I joined an Instagram and I started following him because of this. He was he was doing this thing where he was just posting a bunch of pictures to Instagram. He was like. Well, they're in like Cabo San Lucas or Cancun or something. It's like, oh, margaritas, these things are great. And it's like, oh, fourth margarita. I'm starting to feel it. And it's like, it kept going on and on. It's like, margarita X, blah, blah, blah. And it was like a picture of him passed out in a pool or something. It was great. It just got progressively worse. It was funny. So he was acting it. Or was it actually happening? I think he was acting it, but it was, it was entertaining it was, anyway. I, I like to be entertained. I was tying it into the drinking thing. Oh, it's totally tying So And I like yeah. to entertain. He likes to entertain. And he has a sing-along bog, and I have a YouTube channel. Bog. Yeah. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> bog. You get a bog. So you get after seven drinks. Yeah. You get bogs instead of bogs. You get seven drinks. Yeah, we have. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> We're done for today. Awesome drinks talk for all that crap. Everyday drinkers for all the video crap. We're going to go make number eight. We're on eight. And then we're going to make number two. <laughs> <laughs> we're teaching how to drink. Spices. I don't know if there's really any pumpkin in pumpkin spice, but a few things: cinnamon, brown sugar. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no! Apparently, you made him lose his shit. I, I just made number two. Thanks a lot. I got steam. Oh, I, that was it. Was that a genuine reaction? Because you spit. I was proud. I did that. Well, it, it was. I was proud of that, that one. The, the first reaction. like three seconds was me going. I don't get it. Oh, we gotta move out and we do all this. Thanks, Especially David. with all that like, alcohol stuff. <laughs>